Welcome back to another exciting edition of DCW here on the Wrestle Dude YouTube channel on a night where we will see Sammy Callahan take on John Moxley in now what is being called a no holds barred matchup. We have an incredible contest here for you tonight, but we are kicking things off with tag team action. And it's going to be another one featuring Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder, who are on a quite the winning streak here. If they can pick up a couple more wins, I will award them a tag team title match. And yeah, maybe an easy matchup for them here tonight in the form of the B team. But hey, the B team have seemingly found some newfound aggression after their current losses here on DCW. Hopefully that can convince themselves to get back in the hunt and get more aggressive and hopefully win this match here tonight. So hopefully I'm expecting a very uh, strong showing from both teams. Kurt Hawkins opening things up for his team. Zack Ryder, former Intercontinental, United States, and Tag Team Champion. Ooh, and don't forget, longest reigning Internet Champion. Don't forget that. Zack Ryder tossing Kurt Hawkins, or tossing him into the corner of Kurt Hawkins, I should say. And Zack Ryder very quickly lining up Curtis Axel. Woo, woo, woo. You know it! Broski boot in the corner. Zack Ryder bad mouthing Kurt Hawkins, and uh, I mean Curtis Axel, and Bo Dallas. Oh, knocked out of the ring! Bo Dallas knocked down to the floor. And Curtis Axel looks to be completely out. Making the tag to Kurt Hawkins. What could we be seeing here? Tossed into the corner. And Kurt Hawkins. Oh. Looking to go after Bo Dallas here. Zack Ryder itching to get to that other side. He is walking with authority. He wants to get to that other side. And Kurt Hawkins knocking Curtis Axel into the corner. Zack Ryder, he's calling for something. He wants he wants some sort of maneuver. Oh, Kurt Hawkins off the second rope with the Bulldog. And Bo Dallas back up on the apron trying to get his tag team partner into this. Willing him back on. Hawkins, though, taking him down, keeping his team alive in this match. So far, so good on the side of Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder here. They want those tag team titles. Tossed into the corner. Hawkins makes the tag to Ryder. What are we going to see here? Oh, I think I know what we're going to see. The Hype Rider, the assisted Rough Rider from off the top rope from Zack Ryder. One, two, and the three, another victory for Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder. Man, what happened to that newfound aggression, B-Team? What the hell? <laughs> I thought this was going to be more competitive. Look at this. This was a broski boot, and then the Hype Rider making its return here. Zack Ryder with the Rough Rider. Kurt Hawkins with a Spine Buster to Curtis Axel. Bo Dallas looked like he had to think whether or not he wanted to get in the ring. Yeah, he had to do a double take, and it cost him the match. Hawkins and Riders winning streak continues. Could we be looking at future tag team champs right here? Well, moving on, another fresh matchup here on DCW. We have Keith Lee taking on the one and only Ricochet, who makes his debut here on DCW. Keith Lee, after a loss to Johnny Gargano, said he wants to bounce back, and he wants to prove that he is one of the best here in DCW. So I'm giving him this matchup here against Ricochet, another incredible competitor who we have not seen since the NXT Universe Mode. Oh, and that seemingly was like the taunt of honor between these two. Normally you taunt your opponent, but it seemed as though in the process of doing his taunt, Ricochet accidentally kicked Keith Lee in the chest, and Keith Lee just pawing Ricochet early on in this match. And these are two great men, two very agile men. You never would hear that word out of a big man like Keith Lee, but yes indeed, he is very agile. He can do incredible high-flying maneuvers that you may never see out of any other big man. And Keith Lee Oh, shoulder tackle blocked by Ricochet. Ricochet looking for the 630 off the top rope. Keith Lee looking for the spirit bomb. Oh, Keith Lee. Oh, like I said, lost to Johnny Gargano on a recent episode of DCW. He wants to get back in the hunt to prove himself. But speaking for a moment about Keith Lee's good friend, Matt Riddle, we saw in the last episode of DCW, Matt Riddle interjecting himself in our main event costing Goldberg not only the match, but his career. 
Matt Riddle not here tonight. He has been suspended for this week due to his actions last week. Although the final record will show Goldberg is retired. But hey, Goldberg is the past. We're all about the here and now. And that is Ricochet. That is Keith Lee. And that is DCW. And Ricochet may be close to picking up a win here over Keith Lee. We may be basking in the glory of the one and only here. Ricochet. Springboard. Uppercut. Keith Lee able to move out of the way. And Keith Lee wrenching the neck of Ricochet. Oh, man. Keith Lee, very strong, agile man. And he may be putting this matchup away right here. Spirit Bomb, Ricochet, able to over-rotate. Get Keith Lee into a pinning predicament. Here we go, one, two. No, oh, a kick out by Keith Lee. And Ricochet trying to stay alive. Huracarana. And Ricochet, ooh, beautiful standing moonsault. And another one. Are we going to see three? Well, maybe not. Maybe I asked for too much there. But Ricochet's trying to stay on Keith Lee. Uppercut. Elbow. Oh, into the turnbuckle. 619. Has Keith Lee set up again. Oh. Oh, and Ricochet. Keith Lee just took a back step, and Ricochet landed right on his head. Elbow to the jaw of Ricochet by Keith Lee. Oh, and another elbow. Driving Ricochet. Oh, and Ricochet answers back with huge chops and strikes. Back and forth these men go with strikes. Keith Lee has him in the corner. Big, big splash in the corner. And Lee, oh my god, frog splash! Ricochet got the knees up. But how much damage does that do to Ricochet's knees as well? Face first goes Keith Lee. Ricochet looking for something big. Here we go. Springboard 450 to Keith Lee. Cover that man. One, two, no, a kick out by Keith Lee. Ricochet not able to put him away with that springboard 450. Ricochet's going up top. And Ricochet's lining Keith Lee up for something. What is this? Ooh, oh, 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 he caught him. He caught him. Spirit bomb by Keith Lee. A spirit bomb in midair, catching Ricochet. And it earns Keith Lee a huge win on DCW. What a maneuver. Ricochet thought he was strong going up top. Keith Lee caught him in midair and delivered the spirit bomb out of nowhere. My goodness. Do we have a replay of that? Can we see that? There was a springboard 450. Ricochet thought he put him away. Went up top and hit that huge spirit bomb from out of nowhere. Look at this. Bam! Ricochet, as soon as he was up in the air, he knew he was in trouble. Keith Lee with a huge win here tonight. Keith Lee is back in the title hunt, I would definitely say. Bask in the glory of Keith Lee. Lee for he is limitless and for he is victorious here tonight on DCW. Congratulations to Keith Lee. Oh wait a minute. Wait a minute Goldberg. Goldberg on DCW. Like we said on the last episode Keith Lee's good friend Matt Riddle costing Goldberg his career. Goldberg sending a message to the king of bros attacking Keith Lee with a spirit of jackhammer combination. Goldberg will have the last laugh against Matt Riddle attacking his friend Keith Lee. Goldberg. The retired man apparently doesn't own any other clothing rather than his wrestling gear. But Goldberg attacking Keith Lee after this victory here tonight. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Goldberg, after retiring last week, thanks to Matt Riddle and Randy Orton, attacking Keith Lee. Well, guys, we're going to throw it to backstage where right now we have a promo from Asuka as regards to the women's champion, Bianca Belair. Let's listen in.
Well, a strong statement made there by Asuka towards the women's champion, Bianca Belair. We're going to have to move on to our main event here. Yes, I have signed it as a no-holds-barred matchup. John Moxley taking on Sammy Callahan here tonight. And after all the frustrations mounting between John Moxley and Seth Rollins, I will have to sign a matchup between these two. If you want to see that matchup, comment below. But John Moxley versus Sammy Callahan is a dream match that I would love to see. So we're going to have it here tonight. Sammy Callahan of OVE and John Moxley. Both of these men are two of the most dangerous SOBs in professional wrestling today. There was no way that I was not going to have this matchup be no holds barred. And John Moxley, you know, is going to go through any limits necessary to defeat Sammy Callahan here tonight. Off the top rope with a strike to Callahan. And we know that these young men love to introduce weapons into this matchup. The question lies, who will be the first to introduce them? John Moxley with Callahan up. Power bomb onto the announcer's table. Oh, and it seems as though it's going to be Moxley. What is his weapon of choice? It will be the steel chair. The steel chair he used against Johnny Gargano at the Brodown. And John Moxley, not just happy with a steel chair, he wants something else. What the hell is that? That's a... Oh my god, that's a that's a pipe! That's a pipe from like a freaking boiler room somewhere. John Moxley... Oh, going after Callahan with a freaking pipe. What the hell? Oh, Moxley dropped on his head. The back of his head hitting the ounce table. Holy cow, that pipe. And now Callahan in possession of the pipe. Callahan swinging. Normally he uses a baseball bat. Callahan misses the strike. Moxley with a forearm instead. I am still in shock. That friggin' lead pipe. That is a very dangerous weapon. But then again, these are two very dangerous men in the squared circle here. Callahan, a former Impact Wrestling World Champion. And Callahan trying to stay on the attack of John Moxley. Sammy Callahan, a great addition to the DCW roster. Love to have him here. Him and John Moxley, two of the most dangerous men in professional wrestling. And you're seeing why here in this match, just in the first couple of minutes. Oh, Moxley. Oh, I don't, I don't know what the hell went down between Sammy and Moxley there. Oh, Northern Lights suplex. Saving the matchup. John Moxley up to the middle rope. Double axe handle onto Callahan. And now what is Moxley doing? Oh, exposing that top turnbuckle. And John Moxley now with the steel chair coming into play. Doesn't decide to go into that ring side. Goes into the other side of the ring. Oh, steel chair strike to the back of Sammy Callahan. We saw John Moxley attack Roman Reigns up on the stage. I can now reveal Roman Reigns is going to be indefinitely out of action thanks to the attack from John Moxley. A paradigm shift into the stage. Callahan, though, with a suplex on that steel chair. And Callahan now in control of this matchup. Sammy Callahan. Ooh, clothesline. And another clothesline. Ooh, kick to the... Oh, trips up Moxley. Moxley looked like he was trying to set up for the paradigm shift. Sammy Callahan saving the matchup for himself. Callahan... Trying to utilize that steel chair again. Oh, look at this. That's Ambrose's old finishing maneuver. The dirty deeds into the steel chair. Moxley's down. Oh, and a kick out at one. No selling his old finishing maneuver into the steel chair. And Sammy Callahan going to have to go outside for more bric-a-brac. And it seems as though Callahan is going to utilize a sledgehammer. Look at that sledgehammer. That is not Triple H's sledgehammer. That is a full-on, full-fledged, real sledgehammer. And now Moxley going out for a weapon. As if we didn't have enough. Moxley now going for a table. And the crowd is loving this. Can we get some tables in the comments? The table introduced here into this matchup. Moxley going to try and utilize it. Callahan, though. Poking the eye of Moxley. Callahan looking for a pile driver off the apron. Well, Moxley able to survive. Callahan, though, spins around into an eye poke of his own from Moxley. Moxley in control now. 
on the apron. Callahan, look out below. Power bomb through the table. And Moxley is soaking it all in. And you know Moxley is visualizing that that was Seth Rollins he just put through the table there. John Moxley wants to prove that this is not Dean Ambrose in DCW. This is John fucking Mo or I'm sorry, John freaking Moxley. And Moxley, he, I was commentating, he would just attack the ref with that hammer. Oh, and there's the hammer to the gut of Callahan. That full-fledged, fully real sledgehammer. And now Moxley shooting the gun. He's got his bullet shot at Callahan. He's got the pipe in his hand. Don't turn around, Sammy. Oh my god! Pipe off the skull! And a flash of red means someone's busted wide open. And Callahan is on his last legs. Ambrose or Moxley, whatever you want to call him. I'd call him Moxley. He's more dangerous than Ambrose. I'm the chair. Oh, paradigm shift to Callahan. Not even on the chair, but just as dangerous. Cover one, two, and the three. John Moxley picks up the win over Sammy Callahan. And this matchup completely turned around. Look at this. Right into the steel chair, but it really turned around for John Moxley towards the end of this matchup with the power bomb through the table. Since that happened, Sammy Callahan did not stand a chance. The power bomb and then the paradigm shift after being hit with a sledgehammer and the steel pipe. The paradigm shift sealed the deal. John Moxley with a big win here on DCW over Sammy Callahan. But the question lies, does he focus on Seth Rollins? Or does he focus on Johnny Gargano and the World's Heavyweight Championship? The question has been thrown out. The answer lies with John Moxley. Wait, what? Guys, we're going to have to cut to the boiler room here. Congrats to John Moxley. Something is happening in the boiler room, and it's concerning Bray Wyatt. Oh my god, that's that's the fiend! That's the fiend! Who's he attacking? That's in the boiler room somewhere! Who the hell Oh my god, I think that's I think that's Rowan! The fiend laying out another Wyatt family member. This time it's Rowan. This is a message clearly being sent to Braun Strowman, but the question lies, who is next?